and their support, who could forget, Dumbledore from Supermassive. A super team in and of itself, but on the opposition side from Team Ice is Latin America South. And in the top lane for this team is Helior from Furious Gaming, Kletos in the jungle from Isurus Gaming, Plugo from Chaos Latin Gamers, Rangelis from Halfnet Esports, and Bear, their support from Chaos Latin Gamers also. Absolutely two powerhouse teams. Uh, of course, Turkey only really playing for seeding here, as they have done very uh, well so far in the tournament. If they win this game, they will lock that first seed. Whereas on the opposite side, if they win, something less than stellar happens for some people here on the Caster team. Yeah, there is a chance that LAS play for that first seed, and Oceania is entirely <laughs> removed from the tournament's contention whatsoever. Of course, Turkey, they may be already in that first seed. There's a lot of pride that is on the line. You heard it in their... I guess, video before talking about how important it is for them to represent their region properly. But because they're already considered in that top spot, they're qualifying. I said who knows what we might see. We might see something absurd. We might. I mean, from what we've seen already today, we saw the Zac. I knew we were going to see Zac come up. Because you take a look at the champions, it's like, who's the tankiest, most obnoxious champion on the list? Mm -hmm. Zac. You can't kill him. They actually had a really cool strategy ready to go. Um, the Brazilians just, like, brought out the, uh, the ZZ rot and used that as the method of yeah. pushing. And Edgewell just couldn't do anything. And actually, a lot of those champions on the list can't do anything against Zac. I think it was a big mind game as well between Brazil and Oceania. Of course, very close friends. We saw them hugging it out after the games had ended. There's a very real chance that they knew Ezreal was coming and they had a plan ready to go. Alright, so what's it going to be? We've been uh, kind of doing a little bit of theory crafting on what could be brought out, of course. Uh, Lee Sin, Graves was the first matchup followed by Ezreal and Zack. So those have been taken. So are we going to see something new or something something uh, along the same lines? <laughs> I certainly hope it's not vain. Of course, that could be very exciting. I'd say there's at least lots of kills and deaths everywhere to be seen as uh, our ice side have got their eyes set on Corky. Yeah, I mean, outside of the AD carry, you have to feel there'll be a lot of vein spawning going on if they do decide to lock in the vein. Uh, Corky, on the other hand, I mean, I guess you can have like a, a hybrid, you can have like ADs <laughs> and AP carries, and I guess a tank. Dumbledore just rebelled. And as well. Not two of them have rebelled, but Ezreal <laughs> wins in the right, end. Okay. So Ezreal once again. Ezreal will probably have a much better time against Corky, which has been locked in for the ice lineup. Um, all right, so an AD carry game, and two AD carries who can build both AP and AD. Yeah, so we're going to see a lot of potentially mixed damage. I'm a big fan of both of these champions because I like to build the AP alternatives myself. I'm a firm believer that the Corky AP build is very strong. But both of them also want to scale and get their items, so we could be here for the long haul. I guess it comes down to how they start to play these games out because AD carries against AD carries. They always have, you know, lifesteal, ranged auto attack damage. They've got pretty good wave clear to speak of, and it's very hard to get things going as a group. It actually just depends on the item builds and how they decide to play out the game because if they do decide to go for like AP builds, you'll see Ezreal just going in constantly. There'll be a lot of kills. Or if they go for more of like a blue build, then yeah, you're looking at more sustained backline damage, trying to poke away at the Corky. Corky does the same thing, goes in for the missile barrage as his way of harass, and then we have like a siege game. So it really just depends on how the players are feeling today and how they want to build. I'm most excited as well for the packages that Corky will be getting around that eight minute mark because five of them getting a package i don't know how it works <laughs> but like firstly how do they look in the spawn and are there five packages that's and true can only one person pick up the package if there's only one and who actually gets priority there's a really big question mark on that we are going to find out uh, i want to see if someone goes like a kind of tankier build as their initiator and they just send in initiator corky to get things rolling onto the ezreals but um we'll find out so funny enough the compositions all ezreal and all corky at this point usually i'll be asking you for a breakdown of the lineup but um I think it's a little bit different in this one. I guess we have to firstly look at the skin battle that we'll be seeing. So a lot of pulse fire Ezreal's on the side of the TCL. The opposition actually has arcade corky everywhere. So personal <laughs> fan of this and look at the... <laughs> it's <laughs> it's they're walking in a line. Oh, it's amazing. Do a barrel roll, get in there. Oh, one did. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, there we go, yeah. They actually do barrel rolls when walking. Well, some of the Ezreals have mastered the emote spam, and I think we're going to have a head-to-head. -head. Oh, oh, no. Getting bodied with these Qs coming in from Team Fire. And Nari is going to be leading the charge into the drop. <laughs> Fast bombs are coming out. Zaitnot does not want any of this. And they're going to back to base. Uh, they are sitting on top of a ward, though, so any Corky who hasn't used their fastball already can stop all of this. Wara wants it, but 
He's getting zoned away by the flurry of mystic shots coming from Team Fire. <laughs> the recall animation spam as well coming out of the TCL <laughs> team. <laughs> I don't know if they actually ever do want to recall. They're just praising the Ezreal gods. They are praising something. I'm not sure if it's the sun. They could have hologram dance battles too. They could. But they have to learn how to spam, spam the lasers. Yeah. One is bad enough. I'm not enjoying watching all of these. No, it is. Uh, it's very much hurting my head. Oh, man. All right, thank, you. thank you. Thanks so much, Observers, for getting us away from that. Let's see if Corky has uh, another obnoxious emote to spam. All right, so we do have a split in terms of keystones for at least some of the Ezreals going for that further of battle versus Thunderlord. So you can expect the Thunderlords maybe to be going towards a more AP-centric build, where the Corkies maybe just all going AP. Yeah, there's a very real chance they do. Of course, the Gatling Gun also instantly proccing Thunderlords, AP or AD aside. Deathfire touches considerable amounts of damage, but again, they're against Ezreal. So this is where the difference between Ezreal masteries and what Corky's one has come to play here. You don't necessarily need that Warlords. They just want to do more AD damage. You've got to feel as well, if you're the Corky players on this one, it's just like, maybe I do want more AP just in terms of our lineup. Maybe we have one guy who goes AD, but... If the Ezreals decide to go for like an Iceborne Gauntlet or a more traditional quote unquote Ezreal build, then going for AP might help them out. Yeah, there's a very real chance, of course. One thing we have to, I guess, severely point out is the ability that an Ezreal has to jungle. We saw it highlighted in how effective it can be. In that last game, one champion that cannot do it is Corky. Can't really kite the camps, doesn't really have a lot to offer, and will run very low whilst doing the jungle. <laughs> Here comes the level 3 Crystal Gang from the jungle, and they're going all in onto Plugo. He's going to have to burn his flash, and Fire come out victorious in that one. Talking about jungling, Kletos is giving it his damnedest. He is uh, giving it a good shot. Yeah, he tried the uh, red. It didn't work out very well. <laughs> now the red's potentially going to... Uh... Whoa, Wara dropping low. He'll have to flash away, but as the first blood coming in, Zeitnod will finish him off. Bear, not going to be so oh, lucky. Oh, Flashed after. No, Dual no, no, no. First the auto attack onto the minion. One kill at least to the lineup, but... Uh... Always at the second. <laughs> That's a hands-off keyboard moment from Dumbledore. Auto attacks a minion and instantly holds position. It's the sign of someone who might be tilted already. And at three minutes in the game, the Turkish side showing how strong Ezreal can be in comparison to Corky. Usually Dumbledore is the tilter, though. He uh, flicks tilt upon other people, but we'll see that one more time. Yeah, we do get to see this. The uh, E forwards, I believe it was, from the Ezreal that secures it. There's a lot of initial upfront bursts. That actually locks down the kill, basically, where this is a... Uh, you can see the exact moment that he hit a minion and realized <laughs> that he made a big mistake in hell position. Well, the game continued from Crystal. Helio having to flash away. He's burning out from the red buff, but it's not going to be lethal. You've got minions. Run, Plugo. Yeah, did not want to be uh, between that tower and the wall there, so we'll Valkyrie back behind his minions. I want to see how Kletos is doing, because he is currently on 6 CS, which is not many camps cleared. He did get the red after a recall. Okay. He took it on. Second time was the charm, at least. Well, he's got that going for him, which is nice. I think the difference as well is he started at the blue buff. Yeah. He didn't get as efficient to clear as Crystal. That's true. Yeah, Crystal. That was Crystal clear. Bot lane. Dumbledore Doge. The instant damage coming out from the, from the Thunderlord's proc. I'm not sure why they're corky. You know, all things <laughs> considered. <laughs> That's why I said yesterday when Edward locked it in against Tam Kench. The IDM theory is good, but um... And if they do go AP, they want level 16, because that's when they're the strongest. Not sure how I feel about a game in one for all when you're saying, my power spike is at level 16. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, okay, so like AP Corky is like the old AP Cogmore, right? Like, right. you're good. Like, you still do stuff. When you hit 16, you win the game. Yeah. That's what they're looking for if they go AP. So it's talking more of like a time bomb. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Whereas Ezreal's just always good until he gets a tier, and then maybe Corky gets a Sheen to the tier. He drops off a little bit, yeah. and he gets better again. Crystal. Good game. Third time's the charm, perhaps, onto Plugo. He knows he doesn't have Flash. It's a Valkyrie. There's a double jump forwards, followed up by Mystic shots. Crystal Ooh, looking him. for the last auto, finds him. Plugo will bite the dust. Two and zero to TCL. Everywhere we look, there is an Ezreal winning. Even the jungle camps are beating the Corky right now, except that he's bottom. 
He has red buff, and they are low. Uses the popcorn to get into lane, or follow up with his E. Dumbledore's taking a lot of damage, he'll have to sacrifice himself, but Zaitnon, not gonna be lucky either. Kratos and Bear coming in. The cannon! Minions. Oh, Bear! But he gets executed, no one damaged him! <laughs> <laughs> Bear dies to minions, how embarrassing. But they do get the kill, so Corky's biting back. Hang on, no, and just Kletos finished is off Kletos, yeah, sure. Top lane trading blows, heavy up against Elwind. And we're only <laughs> six minutes in, and five kills. Okay, here's a replay of the bottom lane. All right, hopefully we see what happens mid lane two. Yeah, so lots of damage, honestly, but the heal was good. Zaitna trying really hard to get the kills, tanks a little bit too much. And that's where the, uh, I guess the explosive planned play from Kratos comes in. Doesn't have to use his Valkyrie to get over the wall. And so he has it to close the distance and use that red buff effectively. Gets a kill on Dumbledore. Zeitnot realizes that there's no escape after this flash and uses his minions. But his minions wanted Bear, not Kratos. And he didn't hit Bear. Scumbag minions. That was a lot of damage. It was actually. <laughs> he had a lot of health left. Oh man, well, that's pretty good for you, Rusty. You are TCL Rusty in this game, for all intents and purposes. Yeah. That's the result you want. It is, yes. As an Oceanic member. Hang on. Unbiased cast, <laughs> Oceanic member. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay, so let's analyze some of these builds here, as much as analysis can go. Double tier, coming through. Yeah, uh, two AP Ezreals. I believe in Dumbledore, who's going straight to the AP build, different to the last one that we saw from Rosie. But in a Lich Bane rush, actually, as well, from Naru. So they will have mixed damage, which is good. It's not like a Corky's going to build resistances, though, so it doesn't matter too much in that respect. On the other side, they haven't actually bought a whole lot. I'm expecting Kletos to be the AP Corky. But, <laughs> you know, that's an Amtome, so we'll see. <laughs> We'll see about that one. Uh, Bear's just like, I, I just came to this tournament for fun. I'm going to be a support. Uh, has picked up the Frostbang. Here we go. Hit by the banana. Mystic shot. Oh, Another no. banana goes oh, no. wide. Elwind, dodgeball champion, Helio 2016. Will live another day. That was a lot of damage. Kratos is closing in, coming into the bot lane. Oh, there. In with the initiation, but he's taking a lot of damage in return. Dormal Doge will go hard and go in, but not come back out. Zaitnar being followed down, and the fast bomb not landing will be the end of that one. Zaitnar wants that. Perhaps in kill range, Zaitnar with a decent amount of mana left, and E he's coming six. up any second. He just took six. Watch the ulti. He's got the ultimate. Oh, no. Where's he going to aim? Oh! <laughs> Doesn't get any of them. Did burn the flash. Pugo oh, this is really. In. He has Zaitnar. been baited. Not long for this world. He's, He's all in. He's all in. in. Yeah. Oh, he finds Wara. Okay, he still had heal, by the way. He made the best out of that, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, yeah, no, gives like not credit for that one. Yeah. There was someone flanking him, so he had no choice but forward, or he would just die going backwards. As the answer has been there. One package. Maybe they're stacked on top of each other. We have to just like stay up there and take a look. Okay, they are stacked. Yep, they're stacked. There's a lot of packages on top of each other. Yeah. We just saw one of them use theirs, so that explains everything. Ah. I was wondering why it was so yellow. It was super yellow, yeah. yeah. All right. They aren't exactly using them in unison just yet, but they have them. I feel like you have to, right? Like, as soon as they spawn, you're going five Corkies. Like, that's the crux of your strategy. But like, the Ezreal's response right now <laughs> should be to freak out and run away every single time because the second they pick up a package, it announces it to you. That is true, but I just want it. I, I just want an awesome moment when all Corkies group up, form a V, and just charge at the Ezreal's. They could make, make like a, a tic tac toe yeah. board almost. <laughs> they, they could do that. Kratos coming in with his first package, Wara and Bear following up with the damage. Nana goes wide, lands onto Bear. Crystal now coming in as well. Out his own true shot barrage right through the goalposts. Claytos running away. War is going to body block for him. And the missiles, the back and forth, the war of attrition. <laughs> Bear comes out on top. Oh, here he goes. Blue goes just clearing minions. That's one more package down. And the best thing about the package, right, is you can just do dragon with them. Like if they actually saved it as five. <laughs> I think they got all a little bit trigger happy and decided to do it early. The amount of skill shots as well, something we haven't really addressed. The winner of this game is the one that hits their skill shots better. The winner of this game is whoever was best at dodgeball in high school. Plugo Kletos. 
They both head over the wall. Crystal looking for an out. Finds two corkies behind him. Jumps over the wall. Flash into Zynon. Oh no, this but is dodgeball. He's, okay, <laughs> this is not the place you particularly <laughs> want to be. <laughs> Bear's going to come in. Can't dodge auto attacks. Crystal now also under fire. But Naru and Dumbledore here to assist. Kalatos called out. He's going to have to flash away, but will still meet his end. He's ghosted. Double Valkyrie, triple Valkyrie. That would Naru be does not want to be stepping in that. <laughs> and Dumbledore trying to kite after them, but not going to happen. So six to six currently in this game. <laughs> many kills have gone down. Many skill shots, many missed skill shots. There's just so many skill shots, <laughs> Pulse, <laughs> every single second. Three Corkies throwing their ultimates. But again, we're waiting for those levels on the Corkies. Naru's the biggest deal, I think, at the moment, though. The AP Ezreal. Oh, oh. See you later. Speaking of, thank you, Naru. Rest in peace, Bear. 401. That'll be his Lich Bane. We'll have to see if he gets anything else with that. Doesn't look like he's going for a tier build by skipping it. Different to the Oceanic team. And we get to watch something that happened top lane. Oh, yes, Elwin. He's been outplayed. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was in the shop. Looking, uh, <laughs> in that place. As, yep. Here comes Naru, and again the AP has Ghost, so scares the crap out of them. And watch the damage he takes. Yeah, the thing I love about this game mode is that when a replay comes up, I actually don't know what the replay is going to be of because there's so much action, and in between those actions, like which which fight are we going to see over the last like 30 seconds? Yeah, did not even know that he died top lane to be perfectly honest with no, you because of notice. all the fighting, coincidentally at the same time on the bottom side of the map. Yep. Oh, Naru died. Good to know. does work. Again. Okay, so how are the Ezreal? Oh, never mind. Bear's coming in. Bear's coming in hot. Valkyrie into Valkyrie. Elwind taking a bunch of damage from the big one. Oh. There's another one. But me well on the opposite side of the map. Of course, Warren's going in onto Crystal. Kratos following after as well. Another Valkyrie. Yet another one. And True Drop Double doesn't Doge. Come off in time. But they're going to close in on Double Doge. This should be an easy double for Double Doge. Oh, oh, he stopped a rocket! <laughs> Blue <laughs> coming in onto Dumbledore. The fish will eat the smaller fish, and in comes Zaynot to kill off the last Corky, and there's no more Corkies. There's a triple kill coming out. Uh, one by one, they march in, and one by one, they all start to fall. But everybody's dying everywhere, except top lane, where Bear and Helio are able to push Elwind back, and they are looking for a structure, so a strategy is finally here for the LAS region. Yeah, uh, well, they're going to take the tower. That's that's good. Um, and now leading in gold, so we have some semblance of a strategy indeed. All right, so who was the first victim? Wara goes in onto Crystal. Yeah, again, he's a vein, so he's always going to go forwards. Yeah. And pay attention to all of the missed skill shots that start to make the distance here. Uh, the difference, not the distance, there's definitely no distance involved. He didn't go to distance for sure. And this is one in particular where Angelus throws the rocket, <laughs> accidentally <laughs> dodges. And that's why Dumbledore eventually will fall also because the return damage that came out of an accidental dodge was too real. But then so will Blue go. So, yeah. Zeit not. Another package we'll though. Win. Okay, how do you They really should synchronize their package cycles. I'm a little sad that they didn't. I feel like there is a point in the game, maybe mid-game, maybe that level 16 power spike where they'll uh, all decide to go for it. This is a bit ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the Ezra ultimate coming down into the bottom lane through the river. It's pretty great though, seeing all these mechs just uh, go in against the dragon. Dumbledore does not want to be here right this now. This is Zynos disgusting. These are run away real fast. Well, I'll can shift out. Return. Oh, hello. That was a bit off. Yeah. Helio also has no wide. health to his name, so uh, maybe could have aimed that way. As still has no health to his name. Bit of clenching going on in the bot lane. I think we're good. 10 to 10 currently. One has a gold advantage. Plugo going in, but it's the bottom lane. Where Wara wants blood. He wants that Ezreal. He's not going to get it. There's a mini wave in the way. There is indeed. Now there's a runic echo, something we haven't mentioned. Kratos is the AP. Corky in question, as is Bear. Ooh. They all lose a lot of their health. I'm still waiting for that moment also where the Ezreal's collapse together. Plugo's just dead. Naru with the outplay. He is, uh, he is the biggest Ezreal right now, but Helior also avenged his fallen comrade. Former squadron member. Watch the... Oh, no, nah, never mind. I was going to say watch the damage because he is an AP Ezreal. He's also uh, going the hybrid build. So he'll be doing oh. a lot of Q damage when he connects with the Lich Bane and the uh, Revolver. He's got to hit something first, though. He does. Wara. 
All right, form up squad. Let's take some towers. Crystal, he's here for tower defense, but he is but an Ezreal. And Sight not, probably not the angle he wants to be coming into mid lane right now. I guess it makes sense though that the Ezreals and Corkis should all be not standing next to each other. Because yeah. again, the AoE skill shots that each team actually presents to the, their opponent is quite serious. So interestingly enough, we might see like three different flanks and then it becomes a matter of who's flanking who until someone dies. That does make most sense. Um, That's what I do anyway. Like, but at the end of the day, there's just Ezreal and Corkies and can instantly die. That's true. There we go. With the quote unquote initiate, did not want any of those skill shots coming in. All of the ultimates are available from the Ezreals. So if someone is at 100%, they're in kill range. Yeah, they're starting to... Uh, so there's three of them, roughly four of them mid. I think they're waiting on Naru's, which is the biggest differentiator for the Ezreal ultimates. Left. Yeah, it should be up in, like, now. <laughs> so now they group in. If they find an opportunity to do exactly this as a team... Ooh, that happens. They only needed one, and the rest of an Ezreal's combo. Helior forces Donald Doge back. Not only back, he's dead. I didn't even see him disappear. So a one-for-one, one, both, uh, quote-unquote, supports dead in this game. Oh, Dumbledore's just dead? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I thought the arcane shifted away, it turns <laughs> out he was just dead. But the siege continues, so we'll see if this can uh, be prevented by a single Corky coming in that should get altered by Ezreal's. Ezreal's does have ultimate, but I'm not sure he wants to go in on that. Tower's dead, mid tower down, okay. I would never advise running teleport against five Ezreal's because the damage that'll come out when you give them five seconds of notice actually scares me. Like, I'm clenching for them. <laughs> As we get to watch Bear instantly die to a combo. Bear's like, I'm all right. I've got most of my health. I'm not all right. I didn't have most of my health. Oh, and there's Dumbledore. There's Naru getting shut down, though. A few Bear packages. Bear comes in for the, uh, the old drive-by. This is the biggest package Ooh. I've ever seen. Oh, Dumbledore is going AP as well. Yeah, that hurts. Uh, nice Valkyrie from Bear. Good reactions. And this red buff probably pretty important for the Ezreal squad. They also oh. oh, no, Bear! He needs to get out of dodge. Quara is going to pop the blast pan, but Dumbledore finds him. Goodbye, Bear. Zite not as well. Crystal chiming in for the kill. Lugo. Skill shots going wide, going awry. And after that, I can't tell who has the advantage because Lugo is going in <laughs> after. No one. <laughs> oh, he's bleeding out. There's the red buff. I thought it was a good one for the Ezreal. I think at this stage, while we're saying, you know what, these champions are really good with having levels, the exact same time we have to remember that as they, they get levels, their opposition gets levels, they die quicker, and basically everyone kills everyone, they meet in the middle, and nothing eventuates because they just meet in the middle. Yep. <laughs> waiting for someone to die near a turret so that something falls, and at this stage, LAS are doing better than the Turkish team at that, because we get to see a, a lot of damage come out constantly from every direction. Really is like a snowball fight. It is, Just but lobbing stuff are everywhere. Made of plasma, and they hurt. In rockets. Yeah, and rockets. So it's not. A, it's a snowball fight. It's, it's a futuristic snowball fight. There they are. He's got his ultimate. Oh, he's got his uh, package. I'm still waiting for the for the package play. Like, I'm sure they have something prepared. You don't pick Corky and then say, you know what? It's gonna go in one by one. Just gonna pop my uh, package whenever I feel like. Uh, currently, no packages available. It's a right shame. What else could you do for f five packages? You could box them in. I think, yeah, you could like bait the Baron, which is impossible as Corky's. You know what? <laughs> 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 he was just having a stroll down river. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna go back. Nowhere is so safe. No. <laughs> there is no such thing as safe on Summoner's Rift <laughs> against global AP Ezreal ultimates. Those things come up fast as well, because they're constantly hitting things with their Qs. Yeah, that's the thing as well. Cooldown reduction, so having like a sheen in your item build, every Ezreal generally will have one of those, means you can throw it out more often. Lucidity also for Naru, so the AP Ezreal is going to have a lot of them. It's also a mixed bag of damage, right? Uh, I'm going to hold that for for a second, because I, I want to just see Bear wander down. Dumbledore, I believe. Oh. Nope, it was Naru. <laughs> that was Dumbledore. It's like, so much damage. which one do I dodge? Because one of them is going to hurt significantly more than the other True Shot Barrage. So if you have the choice of dodging one, it's like, yeah. I'm taking a 50-50. <laughs> you don't know which one's going to do more damage <laughs> in the end. 
Is this the AP it's one or is this the support one? I don't know. At least with Corky, it's red. Yeah. It's like you know that that one's going to hurt more anyway, so dodge that. Exactly. And for the most part, they're all going to hurt. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, Kletos has a GLP 800. <laughs> he does. Fair enough, dude. <laughs> you do you. You're a free spirit. <laughs> what? I guess he sets up his allies as well. He'll be uh, jumping in there. Give I look him, forward the to super yeah. soaker. I look forward to the package being used so that he can get in range of the GLP, but otherwise Dows them down and um, everyone else can land their rockets, yeah, exactly. We need to see some Ezures uh, essence flux each other. All the attack speeds. Yeah. Alright, Pluto's ready. They will rip apart a tower. They actually have pretty good tower pushing if they're grouped up. Oh. Torgo was ready. <laughs> yeah, Luka's going in. So is Helio. Oh, good flash. Coming in. Do a barrel roll. Dormal Toad. Oh, oh, three. Finds one. Looking for the second. But Kletos with a flank. Crystal finds one onto Blugo. Helio with a return kill. Kletos chiming in as well. But he's ticking down from the red buff. I think he's... He's alive. Good, question mark. Yeah, he's so he's, he's alive. just barely alive. Naru not actually going to be there. Just throws the ultimate out. Essentially the biggest difference, you'd have to say. Heli are also not having his teleports. Everything is just chaos. And there are a lot of packages now available. So they can rinse and repeat. And these Corkies are actually starting to push further ahead. Uh oh. Wara, bucket. Cheese it. Here comes the police. Here comes Naru. Nah, there's no chance. There is no opportunity to run from all of that damage. Even <laughs> pops the, uh, nope. the cutlass in between all of this. It really is filthy. Just watching all of the damage that they do and the damage that they also take. Like, this is absolute man mode synergy. Good flash from Plugo as well to dodge Ezreal ultimates. And you have to kind of keep your eyes up? for where the heck is Naru's ultimate if it's available. Because that would kill everybody. That's true. And it misses everybody. Uh, oh, we found it. Oh, meanwhile, oh, it was a fight in top lane. Oh, shot. Yeah. That was a really good shot. Yeah. Goodbye, Elwin. Elwin's not had a great game. No. But he is playing like a top laner. He's only been sitting in top lane. I don't think he's moved anywhere else, to be honest. <laughs> there is a there's very sound logic to say that, you know, playing Ezreal's is fine because most people could play the Ezreal's, but top lane is maybe not familiar with the champion. Mid lane is usually play at AP when they're in AD carry even. It's... Good night. Other brave play, but Kletos might be able to reclaim a kill. Or not. <laughs> he's pretty dead. Wara was attempting to come in with the package, but... His two allies are just lemming the way in, and unfortunately dead. They have a lot of way in clear though, like the Ezreal's have a pretty hard time. They will get it, but it doesn't make it easy. No. The tower was luckily very low, and it wasn't out of tower, so they had that going for them. Zeitnok, the rockets, you need to be careful. Oh, that's actually smart. The uh, Frost Queen's claim yeah, yeah. from, from Bear, yeah. It actually is very smart as Wara. He saw the montage play, and he got the one for one. So, that's all right. We'll Won't go in the montage. Real, no. He saw it. Naru does not have his ultimate. Does have flash, and it is bare, so... Anything could happen. The damage is potentially available. Also, these guys going Hex Drinkers. I'd just like to highlight that I don't appreciate defensive items in an AD carry-off. Nope. Vettius, uh, I'm sure it's going to go hard on them. It's understandable if you want to survive, but if you could just dodge the skill shots, you wouldn't have that problem. Alternatively, you could get good. And there you go. That's the solution. Absolutely. Helio is waiting in the wings, waiting for this gank onto mid lane. However, I wouldn't want to gank Naru because you're not no. the predator in this situation. He has a Hextech Gunblade. The package doesn't mean that much when he one hits you. <laughs> Seven, two, and three. Oh, quite big. He almost needs a Void Staff already, too. <laughs> That's a shame. It really is a shame. Yep. Naru, big damage. Helio, he's going to have to burn the package at some point. I'm still waiting for the squadron play. Dormado's on the way back. He's going full AP. Dormado's is a man of the people. Yeah, again, like we're looking at the Ezreal builds this game, and this is almost much more expected. But what are you going to build against Zax in comparison to against a Corky? Exactly. You have to try and shred them. Whereas this game, you just want to do damage. Oh, no. Oh, that actually was not as bad as I was expecting it to be for Pugo. Damn Hex Drinkers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, he had no Hex Drinker that time. <laughs> Is there any other Ezreal? Crystal has ulti. Just standard 14. Snipe him. Don't worry about it. Claytoss. 
All right, we're playing battleships right now. We found a Kratos. Damn. Oh, it was going to spawn too. Does it? <gasps> oh, okay. Like Man can dream. Yeah. yeah. Didn't have the scripts running. Okay, here come the essence fluxes onto the azures. But here comes Hellio a with a Hellio. teleport flag. But he doesn't have his package. Kratos does though. He goes in. There's lots of rockets flying everywhere. There's lots of skill shots. Things are happening here, Rusty. Helio, he's getting hit in the side. Kratos looking to follow after as well. <laughs> what? He's back no away. one dies but Plugo. <laughs> I feel like he also just died in the crossfire, to be honest. I don't think anyone was particularly aiming for him. Naru shut down. See you later, raid boss. Wara finds a double kill. Look at me. I am the AD carry of this team, regardless of the game mode, Crystal. He's hunting. He's waiting. He's got his ultimate. Corkies are at the Baron, though. I wonder if Crystal will notice this. It appears that they trust in their ability to do this. This is actually the perfect time to go for a Baron, because so many as your ultimates are down, there's less of a, a steal chance. Yeah, and Helio can tank. No, no, he can't. He's going <laughs> to... Man, one Nara ultimate will kill everyone. That's Crystal one Crystal coming in. That's one. Looking for the second. Zaynon on Crystal, all the tag dead. team from heaven. Helio, he goes down. Ultimate comes across. Through the goalpost. Zaynon onto Kalatos. Will be coming out Wara. on top. Wara. He's low, but not dead. He's recalling. He's being revealed. No, no chance. Crystal puts him on the floor. 4-4-0. Yeah. Four, four, TC out. Taking the advantage. <laughs> it was a nice idea going for the Baron. I will give them that much. However, first thing we have to note is the explosive plant, pure embarrassment that came out of one of the members of LAS. Honestly, I don't remember at this stage. There's five corkies. It's hard to keep up. And because he only went on the spot, he had to use his Valkyrie to go over the wall. And then he was stuck in the pit. As now it's Turkey's chance or attempt as Plugo spotting them. Oh, he's rocking. Just one corky. Rocking Maybe not to disrupt this. Plugo! Oh, he's getting hit a bunch, but he's got the Hex Drinker. Double dose with a 1v1 and the finish off. Ultimate in return onto the Baron. We should be able to take it out. Bear is on the hunt. He's feeling grizzly. No, he's, no, he's backing away. Okay. This is where you want the packages, Pulse. They're not able to get there. Uh, 27 minutes in the game, capitalizing on a mistake from Ice's LAS team. They get a Baron themselves. They had the potential to uh, completely stop that Baron in its tracks with those packages coming straight from base. Would have had enough time. But even the fact that a team managed to take Baron is a feat in itself. Here we go. You have to watch the Corky. Helior. I'm helping. I'm not helping. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> now I've got no Valkyrie left, and I'm stuck tanking the Baron while my team dies. That's your Kodak moment, Helior. <laughs> Zaynod does do a lot of work here, and also good use of the scrying plant to actually spot Wara. They knew he was stuck because there was a scrying orb on the other side of that bush. Oh. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Speed it up a little bit. And we won't see the Ezreals take the Baron, but we almost saw a hero play from one of the Corky squad. They still have a lot of wave clear, despite the Baron buff going over to TCL. Corky will be able to shred the resistances. This is, this is so many skin shots. This is it's just too hard so to keep up sometimes. You just have to let it unfold. Jesus. I feel like the way that this game is going, when you have 10 marksmen, like you need to be an FPS caster. Wait, what was it? Hello? I altered top. Like anyone with anyone with FPS casting experience would be perfect for this right now. Zaynon, he's dropping low. He's out, he's out of there. Gun down by the Corkies. Oh, Plugo. Luckily, he was behind the minion wave and a couple more Corkies. <laughs> and poor Bear has no health to his name. Even with an Abyssal Scepter, he's just losing all of his health under the pressure that Ezreal's are able to provide. Crystal still wants to win the game. So he's going for objectives. As the rest of the Turkish team just want to kill the Corkies. <laughs> it's not a bad strategy, to be honest, in this game. Uh, LAS have had the Ocean Dragon, which would have to feel as a good pickup, at least in the Wars of Attrition, but it's getting to the point where everyone's doing so much damage. Uh, you're going to die pretty much instantly from fall. We're still waiting, low pulse. Level 16. Corky's <laughs> ultimate actually one. does Looping one to one back. scaling. So when he hits 16, it gets to the one to one scaling, mm. whereas it scales up per level. So that's when he really turns on. The damage that he's doing now is still commendable. It doesn't seem to compare, however, to the Ezreals. 
How much of um, like our win condition is getting to level 16 right now for, for Team Ice? Like, how dead are the Ezreals once you get there? I mean, it's the only thing they've really got right now against the Baron up Ezreals, and you want to kill the champions. Oh! Bear's going in. Bear's going out. <laughs> Wow, kind of... That's given the high five. I mean, it's true to bear form. We saw his Pantheon support earlier in the week. But he only went in. Yeah. There was no going out. It's like, this is great. I actually have an ability to <laughs> not die every time I want to jump. Two dashes. Yeah. yeah. Now, versatility. Also the bear is evolving. Goes. The bear is learning. I wonder if he'll die from Naru's ult. No, it's going to go mid. Bear. That's See the squishiest member on the scene? Well, he's actually, uh, he's adapted. He's picked up the Abyssal Scepter. Um, who's the squishiest <laughs> Luca, all right. Hopefully there's not another one. I really, I just, I don't know if there is a squishiest member on the team. They all just take too much damage anyway. Yeah. Like they've all got magic resistance. There's a bit of extra health on Kletos. Oof. All right. But Skims is his bumper. Backside. Yeah. Zaytnot's got his and Crystal. So they could look for a snipe opportunity. I want to see uh, another assassination from the Ezreals, just like we saw early on to Bear. I feel like five Ezreal ultimates will just nuke any of these Corkies, regardless of the Moors. It definitely will. No Void Staffs, unfortunately, though, just yet. Elwyn will go for this, you would imagine. He's a little bit scared. Yeah. Not enough. Whoa! Over there, Zynot. All right, mate. A bunch of damage, Wara. Steady on. There's the ultimates, there's one, there's two. <laughs> Crystal, Elwin, and Dumbledore's lining up for the shot. Wara knows he made a mistake. I think it's safe to say both summoners gone. Objectively. Plugo takes a bunch of damage in from the Mystic Shots. Bear chased down by Zaytnod. He doesn't want this right now. No man to escape, but there's stray Ezra ultimates flying absolutely everywhere. Dumbledore's fires his. Where's it going? Down mid lane. And Wara, <laughs> he's coming back. He's coming in for the initiative, Wara. but he's too low. He's out of there. Elwind finished off by Helior. Jump Ooh. over the wall. He's got the blast plant. Crystal. He's trying to find a kill here, but Kletos has his own package. Tries to deliver the package. They weren't at home. Those left at the post office. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ezreals are in. Ezreals are out there. <laughs> Definitely doesn't want any more of this, but you can't dodge a homing missile. Finds the double. Oh, hey, baby. Naru. Naru coming in. He wants that triple. Pelugo 1v1 against Crystal. The flash. And a kill. The Five flash three. was ultimately not necessary, however. He made it look pretty badass, so yep. we'll give him those badass points. <laughs> Naru and Crystal will be doing a lot of damage to these turrets, as you can see. Good lord. There was two minions to accompany them. You give Ezreal's an inch and they'll take the entire game. All right, well, War is coming up, so luckily they won't be able to finish this one up. But 33 minutes in, we have 56 kills. And yet another replay for you to feast your eyes on. And I mean, there's not really a lot you can say about this. It's just skill shots absolutely everywhere. Also, sound effects wise, they picked the worst possible skins for Ezreal and Corky. I think you mean the best possible skins. Well, yeah, it depends what you're after. Yeah. You're right, they are very good. Orangelis is an absolute monster. He always wants to go forwards. But Helio ultimately is the one that gets everything done. Also, a package on Kletos this whole time. And he waited till then to use it. Not exactly appropriately. I'll let him off because it's not. Ah, yes, the package from Corky. <laughs> Blue yeah, Go. Blue Go comes in and does a lot of work on the back end of it. Yeah. That's not enough, though. It's Crystal. It just looks stylish. To be fair, it was 1v3, so he got two. Yeah, he definitely did. Um, Alright, Naru, still the biggest Ezreal. Mm -hmm. Who is the biggest Corky? I'd say Wara. It would be Wara, yeah. yeah. I just don't know if Kletos even had a chance to use his GLP 800. Yeah, the idea here really is that they should just poke. Both of them, and whoever pokes the best. Oh no, wins. Bear. He can't survive another one. Luckily there is no more. As oh. you come out! The hidden <laughs> Corky is apparently not the deadliest, as he was found by the onslaught of Ezreal's. Now and they all go back to base. And a disgusting amount of skill shot. Right, how many packages up. are there? Right, boys. Yeah, check this one for There's me, There's a Rusty. couple there. There's at least two. Uh, I've been informed that Wara is indeed the biggest Corky with 28% of the team's damage. Plugo, you have to go. Big. Rocket. Plugo. No, not like that. Oh. They should bait the fight, though, and use all of the packages they have. 
<laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore, but many Corkies Use died your pack, in that incident. Bear. The great slaughter, the great Corky slaughter of 2016. Wara over the wall. Bear going to use a defensive uh, wall off there. But forever a support. Bear, the hero that Wara needed. And Elwind going to head back to base. Okay. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> so, the second Baron buff is going to be seen once again from the TCL side. They should be able to utilize this buff with their side waves that they're currently pushing out. 10,000 gold in the lead. Not that it matters too much in the end, they're just hitting more skill shots. And that's the defining feature. Yeah, it's pretty we don't have a statistic on skill shots hit um, and like ratio of hit skill shots. Because that would be a good one for this game. Nara's about to try and one hit Kratos. <laughs> he didn't even know. Claytos doing a U-turn. He's going back to me. Oh! Okay, okay. Extra. I hate Hex Drinker so much. Yeah. Ruins the hype. Can't do say that one for the next Ezreal Corky matchup. There. He's good. Helior. Still trading away. Mystic shots coming in. Oh. He's good. They just can't deal with the Baron minions. There are a lot of packages. Oh, oh no, he was so close. No touchdown for him. And this may be it. There, there are a lot of Ezreal's, but there is a lot of this packages. Is the Kletos, he's going in. He's going to do a drive through. Palugo coming in. Kletos trying to find that kill onto the backside. Dumbledore finishing off Palugo. But the Hex Drinker keeps him alive for a little bit longer. Wrong Not quite a the lifesaver base, there. Back to base. Yeah. And now Naru, he's on cleanup duty. He's the janitor of the team. He'll find all these Corkies off to the side. And Wara left to try and clear the minions. Luckily, there is no Baron buff anymore. Yeah. So, no, actually, no, there is. It was just some uh, people who died. So, I saw Dumbledore and I was like, ah, oh, they're good. Actually, not good. They're in quite a bad situation, to be honest. Trust Look. that man to have been dead yeah. the second he got the Baron. It's going in on Tawara. Speaking of dead. Ooh, Naru, nice flash. Or was he, it? That was. The big one? Yeah. He's still alive, but Naru can't dodge this one. But they're on to the Nexus. Elwind and Domodos tag teaming down. The Corky's on the fountain. Elwind could fall to Bear. No, he's good. <laughs> uh, we've got the rest of the Ezreal's. They're just styling on the Corky's right now. Here come the True Shot Barrages. Can we kill any of the Corky's on the spawn pad? That's the dream right here. But the minions are going to finish off the game. Down goes Plugo. Rip his KDA. And that's the Nexus falling. Ezreal's reign supreme. Turkey take it home. Redemption for the Ezreals, I suppose, for the Oceanic team. But also just a really impressive performance from the Turkish side themselves. Mechanics on point. And in a battle of who could hit the most skill shots, it appears that one region has come out on top. Mostly because I believe they were just Ezreals, and honestly, <laughs> when you're comparing, I think it's the better of the champions. And 